Hi there, welcome back. Uh, today's video is about a specific form of uh, FUE procedures, follicular unit excision hair transplant procedure that we call the long hair FUE. It's a little specific technique that we offer to some patients who, who request it. It's very cool to do, um, but you know, uh, most people don't know about it. So hopefully the video will give you some insights and some uh, of the experience that we have. Thank you. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing great today. Uh, many, many of you requested uh, me to review the long hair follicular unit excision or, or long hair FUE procedure that we perform. Not a lot of physicians out there um, are performing this technique. It is a variant of the traditional uh, FUE. So F F if you know by now, FUE procedures are divided in traditional shaved FUE, which we perform also. Basically, uh, it requires shaving the entire donor zone. I normally don't shave the top if the patient has hair. I maintain it. Some physicians shave the entire head. In this case, this patient, he didn't have much hair on the top anyway, so by shaving the donor, he ended up shaving the whole head. But traditionally, I don't shave the top. I, uh, I shave the top, uh, I mean, I don't shave the top. I just shave the donor zone. As you can tell here, I'm not a great barber, so, uh, the patients usually have to go fix their haircut, but I'm learning and I'm getting better. The second variability of the, of the FUE that we've been performing for a while is called the no-shave FUE. So basically we don't shave the donor zone completely. We normally don't shave the top, as I said. But what we do is I go in between the hair prior to the surgery and I clip with a pair of very delicate scissors. I just randomly clip the hairs I'm gonna remove. So the hair that's going to be moved through the surgery is still short, kind of like a shaved FUE, but by selectively clipping in between the hair, I am able to leave enough donor length that the patient can hide the surgery right away. So as I move my comb here, you can see the little dots from where the FUE grafts have been removed, still with enough hair length left untouched so that the patient can hide it right away. Of course, this cuts on downtime. But once we transplant the grafts from here to here, here's the recipient area. You can kind of see, this was done right after we were finished the procedure, how the hairs were implanted here. So there's no, no really uh, length to the hair that's transplanted because we clip again with the scissors here before we remove it. So that's the no shave FUE. And then there's a third variant, which is called the long hair or the preview long hair FUE. It started uh, my good friend, uh, Dr. Marcelo Pichon from Brazil. I'm from Brazil originally, he's a very good friend. He popularized the method of the long hair transplant with the strip method a few years ago. Nowadays, with the advantage of the machines and certain types of equipment that we have, uh, they allow us to uh, harvest hairs via FUE uh, and, and still maintain the hair shaft at the same length that it was, one or two inches in length sometimes. Um, and then we can use that length inside, keep it in the hair instead of clipping it short. And then when we transplant, the patient has a preview of their result. Obviously, this only lasts for a few days since most of the hairs that we transplant, most of the grafts, they actually end up falling out during the healing phase. But it allows the patient to have an idea of what their result's gonna be like. Also allows me as a surgeon to see that I'm not missing anything. Maybe I, can add, I need to add a little bit more density in a little area when I'm working in the surgery. It is very laborious. It is very time consuming to do it because the longer hair gets in the way. So it requires a lot of patience, a lot of skill. You have to keep moving these hair, newly placed hairs away as you place more hairs in between. And you can only imagine, you know, if, if the comb or if my, my forceps get snagged in the hair, out come the hair. So we have to be careful with that, okay? So, but what you end up having is when you punch that way, no shaving, no clipping, you can see here, these have been punched and now we're removing the hairs, pulling them from the side. So you see here, beautiful two and three hair grafts, but it has the hair attached to them. Again, it can get a little bit messy because you have hairs everywhere. So there's a specific method that we have to keep them together, to keep them in order. But you use the same punch size or diameter as you do with an FUE 
normally a 0.8 millimeter or a 0.9 millimeter diameter punch, very small. You're able to get beautiful three hair follicle units, two hair follicle units, all with the hairs attached to them. And you can see how the incisions here will eventually disappear, okay? So no shaving, no pre-clipping of the hair, just straight through punching with the hair intact and then the, the hair shaft gets uh, preserved. Then you end up with hair grafts like this. So you see the bulbs right here, this was under the skin, right? And so the top of the skin, say for, for this graft here, this is the, the bottom, this is the top of the skin right here and you can see the hair coming out and exiting. So those hairs are probably an inch and a half uh, or two inches in length. And so it has a, it has a little bit of a, of a curve. You can see real nice uh, uh, graft. You can see a lot. Of, there's a single hair follicular unit here, a two hair follicular unit there. There's a three hair follicular unit here and so on and so forth. But you can see that with this technique, once we place these grafts, you know, the patient will have an idea and us as well of what the results will be at the end. So it's exciting, um, even though it's much more time consuming, but we love doing it too. And this is uh, uh, what it looks like right away. So this is the patient right before the surgery. So obviously we filled in this frontal area. And this here is right after we finished. We did uh, an extensive cleaning of the area. We blue dried his hair, blue dried his hair, you know, styled it carefully, cleaned up everything here from any signs of surgery. And so this gives him a preview of what the result will be. Of course, in about a week or so, he'll be back too close to this because like I said, some of the hairs fall out. Uh, and then it'll start growing. But again, it gives them an idea. Also for patients that we've, we've done surgeries on patients who had, you know, like a wedding or something in a, in a day or two after the surgery. So this here allows them to actually do these events uh, without having the surgery showing, showing too much. But of course, you always have to warn them that if they traumatize their scalp, if they bump the scalp, if they run their fingers there without being careful, that can be damaged on, on the newly transplanted hair. So that's not the ideal scenario. Ideally, you would leave this alone for about five or six days or so. Of course, you would wash it and clean it, but gently, um, but you wouldn't be really combing the hairs too much because we wanna be gentle. So the long hair uh, transplants, they add one more possible complication during the post-op period, which is trauma to the grafts. If you have hairs that are very short, you're less likely to grab the hair accidentally and pull on the transplant. If you have longer hairs like this, uh, you have to be very careful not to comb too, too forcefully and then remove the transplant from its little socket. Uh, it takes five days for the transplants to be totally attached, attached to the skin so that you don't traumatize anymore. But it's a cool technique. Uh, some patients prefer that I do it that way. Um, so, you know, I'm happy to do it but it, it's, it's very time consuming, very tedious, but the results are awesome, you know. So I uh, wanted to show you because I've been getting some questions about that. So hopefully that answer your question. If you think you're a good candidate for this, if you wanted to talk about it, our consultations are free. I'll be happy to give you um, the lay of the land and kind of talk to you about the different types of procedures, what's the best for you, because not everyone is a good candidate for a transplant, first of all. Not everyone is a good candidate for the FUE procedure, first of all. And not everyone is a candidate for the no shave FUE or for the long hair FUE for that matter. So only I will be able to tell you that when I see you for the consultation. So luckily the consultations are free. There's no obligation. I can see you remotely uh, via video conference or here in our office in Port Orange in Florida. So call us if you want to discuss your particular situation. I'll tell you what, what's the best technique for you. The important thing is achieving a great result that you'll be happy with no matter what. Okay. I hope that you liked the video. If you do, please click the like button below. Don't, don't forget to do that because it helps us. Also subscribe to the channel so you can get uh, the, the, the content that we put in there periodically. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.